Alright, this is Michael from Phone Arena, and we are looking at the Ubuntu Touch Preview running on a Nexus 7 tablet. This is the very early build. This is version 12.10, which is the current version of Ubuntu. It's not fully working. The, the final version that will be optimized for tablets is going to be version 14.04, .04, which is due in April of 2014. So there's a lot of things here that just don't work and things that are quite buggy, but you can get the idea of what Ubuntu is trying to do uh, on a tablet. As you can see, you have the personalized information. Uh, in this scenario, it's just showing 14 tweets received. That's not our tweets. It's just what the, the touch preview shows. We have logged in to both Facebook and Twitter, but our actual information is not being pulled into the system. We've logged into Gmail as well, but it, it hasn't propagated our contacts or anything like that. There, uh, as you can see, there are some, you know, some. There are plenty of things that just don't work. You have the clock, but you can't actually change the time in any way. There we go. So if you pull over from the side. You have your list of apps. Uh, all of these so far are web apps. There aren't uh, the only native apps are the gallery and the camera, but unfortunately, right now they really don't do much. As you can see in the gallery, it's a nice setup. You have the very variation in size of the pictures, which is uh, different than what you'd see on other uh, platforms. The pictures are sorted by date, makes it easy to see. As you can also see, it's kind of slow to load things up. These are all images that are just preloaded in the in the touch preview. Uh, if you go to the camera here, as you can see, things are a little bit laggy, moving from one to one to the next. Uh, Canonical has said that the minimum requirements for Ubuntu on a tablet is 2 gigs of RAM. The Nexus 7 only has 1 gig, so that could, could be the reason for part of the lagginess. The camera app doesn't actually work on the Nexus 7. Uh, we were able to get it to work on the Nexus 4 but Nexus 7 just doesn't work at all. Uh, if you go to your home screen here, it'll give you your frequently used apps, your people. These are not my people, but just the people that came with the, with the touch preview. Uh, your recent music. And then if you swipe left and right, you get your apps. There are the list of installed apps, the list of apps that you've used, and then there are apps that claim to be for download, but they don't actually do anything, so hopefully those will be coming soon enough. You also have the videos section where you can search for videos and rent videos if you want. Uh, as you can see here, the keyboard is not exactly optimized for the 7-inch screen. There's a lot of white space on either side. It's basically just the smartphone keyboard that's been brought over. But as you can see, you can... Apparently, you can buy The Hobbit, even though it's not out on video yet. That's interesting. Uh, the links don't actually do anything, of course. Um, and as you can see, there's also a game on here called Ski Safari. Unfortunately, again, it's not optimized for the 7-inch screen, so we can't get to the buttons that'll actually let us play the game. Uh, if you swipe from the right, you can switch between the different apps that you have open. As you can see, Gmail is just 
the web app. Uh, the same thing happens with Twitter. A uh, weird thing that we came across when we were first signing in to Twitter and Facebook is that the system apparently identifies itself as an iOS device. So when you're signing in to Twitter and Facebook, the website will try to bump you into the iTunes store to get the app, even though you're on a, an Ubuntu device. As you can see, Twitter works, but it's a little jittery, a little strange, even though it's just a web app. Uh, the browser is just a simple WebKit browser. It works well enough. Again, not optimized. Things are a little bit slow. And, I mean, it works. It works well enough but definitely not optimized just yet. Um, swiping down from the top, you've got the date and time. Sometimes you have to be in a certain spot for the swiping to actually work. you got networks, messages. The odd thing about messages is, again, it's just it's not exactly an intuitive system just yet. You can swipe to get rid of various messages that are there but or you can tap on something and get options to interact with it you can reply to Facebook messages right from the message bar which is very nice same thing with emails but as of right now there's no way to just clear the entire message list uh, we're sure that's something that's on the way but something that's not quite there yet. It's uh, you know it's a it's a system that looks good, but just not quite there yet. As you can also see, it does not exactly care when you change the orientation of a device. As at least on the seven-inch tablet. It really just wants to. It, it can really only do the one, the one orientation right now. So that is Ubuntu running on a Nexus 7 tablet. As you can see, there's a lot of promise here, but it is a very, very early build. A lot of things don't work, but you can see it definitely. It feels like. Ubuntu. It, the home screen essentially feels like they just took the dash from Ubuntu and brought it over. As you can see, sometimes it's kind of hard to get the right swipe gestures. If you go too far to the edge, it'll switch your apps rather than just change the, the page on the dash. But it all works fairly well, except for certain things that just simply aren't optimized for the Nexus 7. And that is Ubuntu running on a Nexus 7 tablet.